Welcome to the League of Women Voters of California Education Fund video series explaining the 2022 statewide ballot measures. Today, we are going to talk about Proposition 29. Prop 29 would require an on-site medical professional at kidney dialysis clinics, among establishing other state requirements. The question it asks is, should outpatient dialysis clinics be required to have a doctor, physician's assistant, or nurse practitioner on site when patients are being treated? And should they be required to provide patients and the state with various clinic-related information? Currently, California's chronic dialysis clinics often operate six days a week for extended hours. They are federally required to have a medical director who is a physician and must report infections related to treatment to a federal agency. All patients have their own physicians who they must see once a month. About 90% of patients on dialysis are covered by state programs like Medicare and Medi-Cal, which pay a fixed rate for chronic dialysis clinic services. Other patients covered by group and individual health insurance plans often pay multiple times more because their rates are negotiated with each insurance company. After a period of time, all dialysis patients are covered by Medicare. Proposition 29 would require that a licensed physician, nurse practitioner, or physician assistant be on site at all times during dialysis treatment, who would be required to have at least six months of experience in kidney care. And if no such person is available on site, telehealth may be used for up to one year. Patients also must be informed of any physician with more than a 5% interest in the clinic, and patients cannot be discriminated against based on their source of payment. Prop 29 would require clinics to report to the state about dialysis-related infections among their patients. There are fiscal implications for both clinics and state and local government if this passes. The clinics would probably have to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars more annually for staff salaries. State and local governments might have to pay tens of millions of dollars more annually if clinics close and patients must go to more expensive facilities such as emergency rooms, or if clinics negotiate higher reimbursement rates. Those in favor of Prop 29 say requiring a physician, nurse practitioner, or physician assistant to be present during a dangerous procedure like dialysis is common sense and a matter of patient safety. With dialysis clinics currently facing fewer inspections than other health facilities, deficiencies are often uncovered. The big corporations operating dialysis clinics can easily make the required staffing changes and still profit hundreds of millions of dollars a year. Those against Prop 29 say clinics already use specially trained technicians and every patient is under the care of their own kidney doctor, so more oversight is unnecessary. This measure would take thousands of skilled medical staff from hospitals where they're needed and place them in administrative jobs. And on-site administrators who don't provide patient care would cost hundreds of millions every year, forcing clinics to reduce hours or close. We hope that this summary of Proposition 29 has been helpful. To learn more about what's on your ballot, visit VotersEdge.org. For unbiased candidate information, information on the measures, and to learn about voting in your community.